Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. It is August 30th, and they just released a bunch of changes to the Mistweaver, to the Monk Tree uh, in Alpha. So I thought I would go over it and show you some of the new talents, some of the changes they made. Um, I also gave some feedback on the Alpha, and it looks like some of it did get addressed, which is pretty cool. So it's kind of nice. So I'll, I'll start off with the tree layout. I did give some feedback for this where uh, with Essence font and the Mystery of a Tree are intents for players to make compelling decisions between powerful abilities, particularly with their final points in order to decide on the build. We want players to feel engaged with pathing throughout this tree and have reasons to explore a variety of options regardless of the build type. I'm fine with that. Actually, they do a pretty good job of it right now. Um, if I PVP, I play a certain way. If I PVE, I play a certain way. It, it's two completely separate play styles. I actually kind of like it. It kind of changes up a bit. You're not doing the same thing. Uh, so this may result in some abilities placement feeling counterintuitive. Uh, the question, this spell has great synergy with this other spell, so why are they not placed next to each other? Can we answer it? We want to maintain pathing tension so that players feel engaged throughout the talent selection as well as avoid certain talent combinations for balance purposes which is fine too um the biggest problem i have in the tree i, I don't really have many issues with it uh the biggest one is this right here obviously for pve you're gonna you know you're gonna take essence font even in that honestly like it's 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 you know it's a tough decision for pvp um i don't really essence font in pvp ever so i have to take a spell i have to use a point that i don't really use it's kind of awkward like it's too bad that they just don't switch life cocoon essence font because it just makes sense because like you choose life cocoon essence font and then you go into teaching the monastery like it just makes sense but i guess they don't want to do that several pieces of the monk and miss people are holding uh tree are adding options for active buttons on short cooldown too many relatively low impact abilities on the short cooldown can lead to a gameplay feeling rushed and overwhelming not for me, I can tell you that. Zen Pulse has been the main defender in our eyes, and future builds are looking at increases the cooldown of Zen Pulse to make it feel more impactful while re while reducing rotational clutter. That I don't mind. Uh, that's this spell right here. I'll show you again. I'll go over all the spells and all the changes in game. But that's Zen Pulse right here, where it deals damage and then it heals for the amount of damage it does, which is you know pretty cool. I guess they want to make it a longer cooldown. Uh, we'll be keeping an eye on the problem moving forward with spells such as refreshing Jade Wind and failing stop. Interesting. So what maybe. What's the cooldown feeling stop? 30 seconds? So maybe they want to make the longer cooldown but make it more impactful. Maybe make it a one minute cooldown but it actually does like a lot more. Interesting. Uh, Misweaving and fist weaving. So this is the biggest issue that I had going to alpha because PvP, you you misweave. You are 40 yards away. You're not doing anything. Fist weave is PvE and so it's just it's just two completely different play styles. Our tents for both builds to build us uh, to feel as though they have options and reasons to explore throughout the tree. The trick will be finding path, find path that satisfies both builds without removing options or build diversity, which I'm fine with. I, honestly, like, I don't even look at this half of the tree for PvP. Same with, like, over here. It's just not really a thing. Um, oh, they do a really good job in the monk tree, but yeah, for PvP, for the misweaver tree, you just go straight down the middle. PvE is more, like, to the sides and, like, over here. So you just completely avoid whatever, you know, talents that you don't want. Uh, we were overall pleased with the first iteration of this tree, but are still looking to make improvements, which is great. Players can expect a few nodes that may have felt like blockers to swap positions and additional connections to facilitate this in future builds. So that's really good. I'm Honestly, it's this right here. And I think there was one down here. It just felt like this right here is kind of awkward too. I don't know. There's just like towards the end of the tree, it gets a little bit awkward and same at the start. But overall, the monk tree is like pretty good. Um, renewing Mist Synergy. Our intent is, uh, is for spreading Renewing Mist to feel rewarding and powerful. I mean, it's kind of RNG, so... Uh, we're happy to, so far with how Misty Peaks, Rapid Diffusion, and the return of Dancing Mist has been received. And we're glad to see many players players feeling much the same way. goal is to tune around these effects, remaining engaging and synergistic. So these talents right here, the Misty Peaks, Rapid Diffusion, and Dancing Mist are all right here in the bottom right. Uh, you'll see Rapid Diffusion when you Rising Sun Kick... And Envelope Mist, apply Renewing Mist for three seconds to an ally within 40 yards. So again, you're getting more ways to output Renewing Mist. You also have the Dancing Mist, which makes it so Renewing Mist has a 5 and then 10% chance to immediately spread to an additional target when an SG cast or when traveling to a new target. So a lot of opportunities for it to actually get spread. And then Misty Peaks right here, Renewing Mist, Heal Over Time Effect has a 5% chance to proc Envelope Mist for three seconds. So a lot of RNG, but a big you know, potential to do a lot of healing. And now I know I'm not really a huge fan of this RNG spreading. Um, I'd rather just have something back like Uplift from Mop, where you extend your hots, you know, with Thunder Focus T, but this is kind of the route they're kind of going down. Again, a lot of opportunity to spread your Renewing Mist, even though it's kind of quite RNG. 
Uh, essence font. So the placement of some abilities, namely essence font at the top of the tree, has come off as alarming for some players. I did give feedback, and I kind of was. It's not it's just not really. It's just not good placement, in my opinion. Since essence font is not an ability that sees universal use, why is it required to be passed the first gate? I mean, they could literally just swap it. Just swap it right here. That's that's actually all they have to do, and it would be so much better. Um, the intent for this placement is to sacrifice a small amount of choice early in the tree to maximize choice later in the tree. Yeah, but like, what if I don't want to maximize my choice down here? This is all PVE, and I can even go here, right? Go down this way and just avoid these and Essence Font Fu is there. So it's kind of just an awkward spot for it. It gives you of the opposite. Uh, this place does Life Cocoon related talents to the tree, while players can expect the Life Cocoon talents to feel more optional with increased pathing being added in future builds the overall placements of the nodes is reliant on stemming from life cocoon due to it not being required to progress past the first gate yeah i mean i get it it's just uh, it's, again it's just such an awkward spot to put it so those are the change or that's the feedback they've given us and here are the changes that they've that they've done so huge changes here the there's a new class talent called summon white tiger statue and this will summon a white tiger statue at the location for 30 seconds and pulses AOE damage every two seconds. That is this talent right here. All right, so it looks like the talents are kind of bugged right now. Um, I keep applying changes and I don't get, I can't actually press it, which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, so that's kind of a bug right now, but that's this talent right here is the summon white, white tiger statue. So that does AOE damage for 30 seconds every two seconds. Really good for PvE. It might even be good in PvP, actually. It might actually be insane. Uh, roll rank 2 now correctly communicates that, that grants an extra roll. That's this awkward talent right here. Roll is baseline, and this will give it an extra charge, even though it's not giving it an extra charge. <laughs> it just doesn't want to give it an extra charge. It's just I, that's still bugged, so it's kind of unfortunate. Uh, when walking tooltip now correctly display speed increase instead of size change. So that's right here. Two four percent. Generous pour, close to heart, and save them all talents not implemented. So that's this is generous pour where it makes your teammates, your allies, take two percent, four percent less increased avoidance, and then you also increase their leech. I don't know where the last one is. This is bounce back, but it's still in development. Maybe that's a brewmaster talent. Now these are the misweaver only changes, and these are Really cool, really exciting. So the first change is Unison, where Soothing Mist heals a second injured ally within 15 yards for 100% of the amount healed. Uh, that is this talent right here, all the way at the bottom. Now I don't think this is crazy good. Soothing Mist really doesn't do that much overall healing. Maybe if it has some kind of imagine if you could Vivify and heals both targets, that'd be kind of crazy. Uh, I doubt that's gonna happen. It's just Soothing Mist right now. So uh, yeah, that's Unison. Pretty cool. They buffed it. Um, Awaken Phalene, Misty Peaks, Rev Diffusion, Invokulon, now Mana Reduction. So this is the craziest shit. I, I genuinely don't think this is this is going to go through. I, I really don't. So Yulon, they've confirmed it now. Enveloping Mist costs 33% less mana while Yulon is active. So that's a three minute cooldown. But if you go with the Talents uh, Gift of the Celestial, this reduces the cooldown of Evoke Yulon by two minutes, but decreases its duration by 12 seconds. So that means you could have 33% mana reduction every one minute. And that mana reduction stacks with mana T and life cycles, and then also clouded focus. I don't see a world where that mana reduction is actually gonna get put in the game. But if it does, Mistweavers are gonna be able, uh, they're gonna be the dampening kings uh it's not even gonna be close either we'll have so much mana reduction every minute and then as far as pve goes it looks like uh chigi is kind of the same uh and reduce the cost 30 percent chigi's presence makes you immune to movement here in fact yep same thing so yeah nothing changes from chigi but yulon this is what yulon should have been now and it's amazing that they uh that they buffed it that's crazy man uh zen reverberation triggers uh second zen pulse at 50 percent was 30 percent that's this talent right here let me just quickly go into here, and that is right here. So this makes it so Zen Pulse happens a second time. They buffed it by 20%, which is great. Accumulating Mist increases Zen Pulse damage and healing by 15% per stack was 10%. That's this one right here, Accumulating Mist. Yes. So this one right here, uh, Zen Pulse damage increased through the Mist up to six times. When you see the Mist channel ends, this effect is canceled. That's kind of weird, but okay. Um, so I guess maybe Zen... Pulse is going to be able to use while using Soothing Mist. That doesn't seem that useful in PvE. This is probably going to be PvP, and this is probably going to be more PvE. Uh, or the go-to is probably just going to be Zen Reverberation. The other one doesn't seem that good. Invoker's Delight now scales its duration down to 8 seconds. Aw, oh, man. So what what else you could have done is you could have... Give me these talents back. You could have went with Invoker's Delight 
and you went here. So every minute, you'd have 33% 30, 30, haste for 20 seconds after summoning your Celestial. It looks like it's not implemented yet, but its duration is 8 seconds into Gift of the Celestials. Oh, yeah. Gift of the Celestials. <laughs> they don't want people getting 33% haste uh, every minute. I guess that's that's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. So I'm trying to see if these talents work. They just don't want to work. Um, Jade Bond's Gust of Mist buffed, increased to 25%, was 12%. So Jade Bond is right here, this talent right here. Ability to activate Gust of Mist, reduce the cooldown on your Yulon or Chigi, and Yulon's Soothing Breath ceilings increased by 25%. That's actually pretty good. That's I'd say that's really solid. Um, any mastery buff is really good. I feel like mastery, come, like most of our healing comes from mastery. And then, no an issue, Ancient Concordances, Tool Depth Displays, Increased Target, Count for blackout kicks cleave. The intended functionality of this is to hit two targets with one point and three targets with two points. Okay. I would assume that that's right here. Your black hole kick strikes three additional. Okay. So it's going to hit two people and then three people with uh, two points. Okay. So that makes sense. So yeah, those are the changes to Miss Weaver and Monk in general. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. If you want to see, I'm hoping that these talents work eventually. I don't know. I don't know what's the deal with that, but yeah, hopefully these talents work. I would like to make a video going over the, uh, like every single talent or every single new spell, new talent, and just show people, you know, what's new with Miss Weaver besides just, you know, the overview of the talent. So yeah, talent's still not working. So yeah, hope everyone enjoyed this video. Miss Weaver is shaping up to be pretty solid. It's nice to see feedback. We've already gotten more feedback in Dragonflight than we did all of Shadowlands. So yeah, uh, hope everyone has a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.